and breakfast? Come and get it with Peter G'day. Russell G'day. Clark. Yeah. Ah, good morning once again, Peter Russell Clark. And can I just say thank you for your excellent efforts behind the, uh, the recently cleaned barbecue at the Northcote Social Club? I had somebody say to me, they listened, it was a chef in a pub in Melbourne, and he said, are the ABC really so stingy they would only give you uh, <laughs> cabbage to cook? And I said, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. But I said, there are other things apart from cabbage. Yeah. Well, you've only got four cents a day. It doesn't go very exactly, far. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And that's not every day either. No, that's right. Um, so have you, have, you, have you been booked for lots of events since that, uh, that wonderful morning? Yes, the gay club uh, down <laughs> in Smith Street, Collingwood. Yeah, they heard they about want, it. They want me to come in and cook beetroot for them because the, they said something about you can't beat of something right <laughs> <over there. laughs> You can't. I've run. never quite understood that. Now, that's interesting that you've said beetroot because um, during our Reach Around Australia tour, there was actually some heated discussion about the virtues of beetroot because Amelia, our producer... Uh, decided against beetroot in her salad, and I. We have Why? A Why? Con- well, exactly. She doesn't like the taste of it. She doesn't like beetroot. I said to her, Bloody "Beetroot, silly. exactly. Beetroot, un-Australian. Is, it is un-Australian as well. Now, there's obviously there's two kinds of beetroot, and the beetroot that comes out of the cans for a lot of people. Um, but, but it's still a very good product in the can. I don't mind I like it, either. it. Yeah, I don't. It mind. just doesn't taste like beetroot. In, in fact, a lot of people prefer the beetroot in the cans to the one that you pull out of the oven. A lot of people believe that the beetroot grows in those cans. <laughs> that they, that you plant the can in the in the ground and put the lid on and the beetroot grows in that can and it comes out spherical already cut. So have you been a beetroot lover for a long time, Peter? I have indeed, but when you're cooking beetroot, you can either do it in the oven or, or in a sauce I just tend to put some water in a saucepan and throw the beetroot in. What, and completely, boil it, completely cover it? Completely cover it and cook it for about two hours mm. for the average size beetroot. Because a beetroot, uh, you, we should say what it looks like for people who haven't bought beetroots at a uh, fruit and veggie store. Looks like a turnip, but it's, but it's a different colour. Mm. It's a beetroot colour, purple. <laughs> Which makes sense, really. Yes, um, it does. You've got to be very careful when you cook these little turnip-shaped beetroot because if you try to skin them or even cut the uh, the little tail of them off, uh, they become anemic. They bleed in the water mm. or in the oven. So and if it, you're cooking, it stains everything, doesn't it? It does indeed. Mm. So you've got to be very, very careful that you get the beetroot, brush any dirt that's on it off and then just pop it into the, either the water or the oven, doesn't matter which, and cook it for a, a couple of hours. Uh, you really don't want to undercook it. It'd be like undercooking a potato, not mm, good. Not as tasty. Okay, we've got Peter russell Clark in. Uh, we're going to listen to a bit of music, come back, go and grab your beetroot, chuck it in the pan, and then we're going to find out what we're going to do with it next. We welcome you. <laughs> Breakfast. Come and get it. With Peter G'day. Russell G'day. Clark. Yeah. Yes, we're talking beetroots this morning. So well, beetroots, you know that the that Napoleon <laughs> Yeah uh, I I was going to say fucked, but I suppose I say rooted the English <laughs> with beetroot because How? the English well, easy. They uh, the English put on an embargo, an embargo, a uh, uh, a blockade of sugar. They wouldn't give the French any sugar. Mm. And so the French were just about buggered and Napoleon said, no, we're not. And he planted beetroot and then uh, when they grew up, he squashed them and got the sugar out of them and saved France. So actually a lot of uh, Europe uses beet sugar, don't they? That's As right. As opposed to cane sugar. That's right. And they prefer it. Yeah. I don't. Okay. Well, I like uh, cane sugar. All right. Well, let and you can use the leaves for salad, but you want to know how to, how to do something. Once you've cooked it, take it out of the either the water or the oven. Okay, so we've had our beetroot in the, uh, in the oven or the water for a couple of hours. Yes. Yep. Take it out. It's got the and skin wearing, on it. Yes, wearing yep. oven, uh, not oven gloves, those uh, gloves that surgeons use when they mm. put their fingers in all sorts of orify in your body. <laughs> Uh, get those onto your hands and then rub that over the beetroot and the skin will just rub off. Mm. Then get an apple corer, shove the apple corer down the middle of the beetroot, take a plug out and then fill that plug with chopped nuts and dates. The reason you use the dates is because they're sticky mm-hmm. and the nuts then stick inside that hole, the orifice you've made in the, uh, in the beetroot, mm-hmm. and then you carve that 
and put it on a plate, and it looks a bit like a dog's ass, actually. <laughs> How appetising! Uh, it, 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 well, it, it, if you if you're very 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 careful with it. Uh, you can put some uh, sour cream around it, and that sour cream will mix with the the red, which turns pink with the sour cream, and makes the sauce. So you've got this little dog's bum sitting in the middle of your plate, surrounded uh, by sour cream, which is uh, turning pink before your very eyes. It's a glorious picture we have in front of us. Peter Russell Clark, thank you, sir. Tastes good, though. Tastes bloody great. <laughs> See you later. Thanks, mate. See you. Bye, Robbie, Marie, and the doctor. Yeah, I was just wondering.